Hello, Laverne. How are you? I'm lovely. How are you? I'm lovely as well. It's uh, good to see you. Can I just shout out to this lovely lady who was dancing or before the show in the red, in the flowers? <laughs> you were giving me so much life. That was amazing. Yes, you. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Sorry, I just had to. No, I love, I watch it when I'm in my dressing room. It's so fun to watch everybody out here dancing. You were dancing to the Megan Trainor song. Yep, yeah. good song. Oh, yes. um, so you got to go to uh, Fashion Week this year. So it's been three years because I've been really busy and I sat next to Cardi B at the Probable Grong show. Like, kind of major, right? Cardi B? Major. Yes, yes. <laughs> but so, so, we were watching the show, and like in the middle of the show, like there's smoke in the air, and people start fanning smoke, and then I like smell marijuana, and I'm like, what is going on? And next to um, um, Cardi, he's brought her fiance Offset, and he's lit a blunt during <laughs> the fashion <pressure> show. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's really smoking weed, like front row at New York Fashion Week. And here in LA, it's legal now, but it, I don't, it's not quite legal in New York yet, but maybe that's his push for legalization. That's, yes. he, he just thought if everyone gets high enough around him, nobody's gonna care. <laughs> so, so did anyone tell him to put it out? Girl. No. <laughs> no, I mean, could you imagine someone going up to Offset, like, and saying, could you please put that out, sir, during uh, the show? And then no one, people, there are models walking by, so there's right. not, security's not gonna come up, because that would be disruptive right. to the show. Right, right, well then he's smart. He's that he, he did it knowing nobody could stop him. Yeah. So you were saying that if you ever met Beyonce that she would uh, file a restraining order and, and then you did meet her. Yes, the last time I was here, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I met Beyonce a year ago at the Grammys. She was very, very pregnant at the time. And I, um, so during the commercial break, I was like, this is my chance, you know, not stalkery at all. I'm like, this is my chance. And I go up and everyone is surrounding Beyonce because she's Beyonce. And um, DJ Khaled is there. And then I kind of poke my head around. And I'm like, just to get her, you know, to see if she sees me. And then she sees me and her face lights up and she's like, oh, somebody help me up, somebody help me up. She's pregnant. And she gets up and she's like, oh my God, it's so good to meet you. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, it's so good to meet you. I love you. I've loved you since Destiny's Child. She's like, I know. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, the first time I met your old stylist, Ty, I was in Central Park and I was doing the choreography to Deja Vu and I didn't even know he was your stylist. She's like, I know, I heard. <laughs> So she'd been getting reports, apparently, over the years, you know? It's like the presidential daily brief, but uh -huh. it's like Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> it's Laverne's brief on, with Beyonce. Laverne's brief with Beyonce. So she knew, she was so sweet. She was so amazing, and she was so amazing. Um, she asked me to model for her um, activewear line, Ivy Park. Did you guys see that? That's amazing. <laughs> yes, I heard that. So... Crazy. So she's your boss now. So yeah, for, for, for the season. I think it's done after, because it was autumn, winter, so I think she's no longer my boss now. I see. So I think it was just for autumn, winter. Well, it's still winter, so yeah. I guess Beyonce's still my boss. Still your boss. Well, she's still your boss for a Glam Masters, right? Doesn't she have some, oh no, that's somebody else. I'm no, confusing her. Totally, no, that's totally Kim, different. Kim Kardashian is your boss. Yeah, don't confuse Beyonce. No, those are two totally <laughs> different people. One, yes. one sings. Yes. Um, and so Glam Masters is a makeup competition. Glam Masters is a makeup reality show competition executive produced by Kim Kardashian and the winner uh, wins the opportunity to collaborate with Kim Kardashian in a limited edition makeup collection for KKW Beauty so that will change their lives. Kim Kardashian's makeup sells out in like three hours. And um, the show is called Glam Masters but it's really about celebrating the art of makeup. It's like for me it's like sort of going to a museum and, and seeing a, a work of art. Um, some of the challenges we give the contestants since they're really amazing, like black and white challenge. You just saw crazy avant-garde challenges. One of my favorites is a waterproof challenge. You have to do waterproof makeup, and then we put them sort of under a shower and see if the makeup will run. Wow. So it's like really intense. Yeah. Really intense. So I, I, before we go, I have to say, uh, you're doing a lot of great work for the trans community, and I know it should be easier now. Everything should be getting better and easier and, and uh, more open-minded people in the world, but unfortunately, that is not the case. So oh, thank true. you for your fight, and continue on. And we are with you. Thank you. You're awesome. Grandmaster's airs Wednesday nights at Cannon Lifetime. We'll be right back.